This is Autobot Tracks on a Chevrolet Corvette Z06. Faithful color to the original uh, Generation 1 Tracks that we saw. And for those of you who know, Tracks was a warrior. Let's get on to the alternate mode, which is a Chevy. This is actually the original uh, Chevrolet Racing logo that is found on the front and also on the back which is here um, a very fairly accurate 1 is 24 model of a Chevy Corvette the Biotech series is a yellow but the alternator's line is a blue version what you see here is actually almost the same as Battle Ravage except for the color and the head and of course the Autobot insignia but for the most part he is fairly the same as Battle Ravage, except for the roof, where Battle Ravage is a convertible uh, Z06. Now, for those of you who know, alternators line always have opening doors and always have a very detailed interior. They also have opening parts, such as an opening. Uh, let me see if I can do this one. Opening hood. That's over there. And let's just take out the engine. Okay, that is the engine. Let's just quickly transform that one to make it into the weapon. Very simple. Okay, let's put that back in. So, a uh, very good 1-24 model of tracks. A Z06. The Chevy Corvette. Okay, let's uh, do the old faithful rotation of the alternate mode so that you guys can see how beautiful this figure is. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed with the transformation. Okay, first thing that you might want to do is open the doors, which I usually do. Next thing that you need to do here is take out these things. Oh, open these things. I'm sorry if my hands are in the way. Open those. Open that. Next thing is just separate these legs. There. Open that. And just fairly get the legs out. Okay. There we go. Okay, once you've done that, move these at the back. Flip the heels first over there. Straighten these out. I want. I usually tuck them out at the back like that. Okay, put that back in. Next thing you need to do is rotate these things. Here's rocket. That. So you can separate. Uh, the parts that are found here at the back. There. Flip out the, the panel. Rotate the head. Bring out these parts. The front. Slide them to the back. Rotate everything. There we go. Bring out the uh, hands forward. Just like that. Practically the sim, uh, sim, practically a similar transformation with Battle Ravage that we have here. We're almost done. Okay. There we go. And you have Transformers Autobot, Alternator Tracks, 
Now, what I like about Trax is he's actually almost close to the original Generation 1 Trax that we saw 20 years ago. But instead of him, his transformation used to be his roof was on his chest piece. Now he has this flip-flop thing that is found in, on his front that assembles just like a roof. Okay. He also has his faithful rockets. But before, on Generation 1 uh, toys, it used to be a snap-on rocket, but this time, it's, it's already part of the transformation or part of the vehicle. His uh, legs used to be also the same that also transforms underneath the hood, which is actually just the same. And just to give you a more accurate uh, show of what tracks used to look like, he is, or he was, like this one, pretty close to what we have, except that he doesn't have wings anymore, and he has, he doesn't have the, the flame, flaming design on the, the hood, but that's all right. He still maintains the, the wheels that is found on his shoulders, and that is Autobot tracks we have here. Okay, postability, 360 rotation on his head, you have 360 rotation on the rockets, same goes on both sides, you have forward and backward action, side to side on his elbows and his hands, this can go uh, 360 there, uh, this is also neat because his shoulders can go all the way back so he might have this uh, rather imposing uh, posing pose you might have this uh, very cool pose like like that and if you move this forward his feet can also move forward a bit at the back his legs have a double uh, sorry his his knees have double joints so he can go like that but he can also fold his legs like, like that also uh, just 360 movement on his feet and, but that's about it. And we have alternators tracks. A few gimmicks that we have here. He has twin um, cannons on his forearms, which is rather good. Okay. But that's about it on Autobot tracks. I like this figure. Paint scheme is. Metallic sheen, uh, electric blue. It's not too glaring, but it's not plain blue. Uh, you can see the white really catches on the surface of the paint, which is really good, actually. Okay, and there we have Autobot tracks. His uh, head mold is rather accurate with the original tracks. Don't you think so? Okay. Okay, this video also is a shout out to all the uh subscribers that I have. Currently I still currently I have one hundred and sixty one subscribers. I like to say hi to all those people watching and to all my faithful subscribers who always give me comments like uh I'm doing a great job, good review and all those sort of stuff that they say. Thank you so much for patronizing my reviews. I do simple reviews unlike the others who are so very good at their reviews. I'm just, you know, your average reviewer. But I do my best. Anyway, that is it about the Alternators review on this version, Tracks. I hope to see you around. Stay tuned for another Transformers. Alternators Hot Rod is coming, or Rodimus. Till then, guys. Stay cool, and this has been Ryan. See you around.